the Elysian box, you say? <laughs> Why would you want to go chasing after a thing like that? Welcome back to Professor Layton. We're Puzzle Boys. Back at it again. Broad show. Solving, Wilson. solving puzzles. Solving mysteries. Solving puzzles. We have to find Mr. Anderson. Who's Mr. that? Who's that wiggly hat man? Wiggly hat man? Oh, it looks like he's got a puzzle for us. Lopez. Lopez. Go ahead, you anybody. You ever heard the old saying, the clothes make the man? Well, from the look of your duds, I'd say that you've got your act together. So try this puzzle on for size. What we got here, Mr. Puzzle cool. Man? 39. Right away. right away, just puzzles from the get. Mm-hmm. It's usually how it happens. Want to read it? Another one of three, these. Okay, I'll read it. Men A, B, and C each started off with pants and shirts of a single color. A wore red, B wore blue, and C wore white. Then they were blindfolded and swapped items of clothing. After they took off their blindfolds, here's what they said. A, no one's shirts and pants match. B, it looks like C's the only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. And C, I don't know if I like these red pants. Change their clothing by tapping on them and assemble their current outfits using the clues given. Okay. I can... Um, how do I... Oh, I, I see. Oh, cool. Uh, somebody's got red pants, right? And this guy was originally... So C's white. got red pants... And then the other two are wearing white of some kind. Okay. We know that for sure. White. White. And this guy can't have the same outfit. He's got red pants for sure. Got and red pants. At least a blue shirt, I feel like. Should we just try yeah. this? Give well, it a shot. Let's see. No one's shirts and pants match. That lines up. Mm -hmm. It looks like C's the only one of. Yeah, C's not in white. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, C's wearing red pants. Let's try it. All right. Okay, here we go. I feel like if we got this wrong somehow. Okay. We did it. Hey, puzzle one out of the I was going to say, we, we could just swap the red pants and blue shirt, and maybe that would be the mm -hmm. solution, but... Oh, look at how fabulous the they look. Boy. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're styling. He lost his sandal, though. He did, but that looks more elegant yeah. to me. Those little toesies. Yeah, he, could slip, he could slip back in there. The little piggies showing, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little piglets yeah, getting there. Little, little piggy peek. <laughs> There's nothing tackier than when your shirts and pants don't match. That's fashion rule number one. Rule number two. These no nuts. one can pull off sequins. No. But with that sweet suit of yours, you're golden. No swanky nightclub will turn you away. I guarantee it. Okay, mister. I never thought they would. Just got fashion advice from a man at a cow festival. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, here's Luke. I guess we never... Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Luke. <laughs> You're uh, uh, bud. You hitting puberty, bud? Uh, I guess we never did manage to meet Mr. Anderson, did we? Ooh, this is going to be a rough one tonight, boys. Yes, what a pity. I had a feeling he'd provide us with a lead on the Elysian box. Nick. <laughs> Who's this little boy? Hey there, fellows! We've never <laughs> met before, have we? I heard you chatting about Mr. Anderson and thought to myself, Hey, I can help. Here, I'll point him out. Is this a puzzle? Oh, yeah. boy. Yep. Who's Mr. Anderson? I just saw Mr. Anderson around here a minute ago. He shouldn't be too hard to spot, what with that beard and hat. Yep, he's a real gentleman, and he always looks spiffy with his cane and dapper little bow tie. Oh, and he doesn't wear glasses, in case you're wondering. Look, there he is now. Okay. Top left. But he doesn't have a hat. Oh, shit. It, it, it flew know. away. It flew, it, it, it blew off, though. Does, like, that matter, you think? Um. Or do you think... Yeah, this guy doesn't have a cane. Does, okay, just 
Does it look like the guy in the top left is maybe wearing, is that his nose just above the beard on the left side? Or is that like a one frame of glasses or something? Fucking, I don't know, dude. Uh, I, if you can't see the glasses, I guess, I mean, maybe that's not it. He's, uh, he's also wearing a bow tie. That okay, looks so like glasses. That, yeah, but that kid doesn't have a beard. That's right. The guy in the top left fits everything. I mean, he's got a hat that blew off, but he's got the cane, the beard, the bow tie, no glasses. Maybe they're trying to trick us, though. What's, but no, nobody else what's the dude in the middle holding? Is he holding, like, a rose or some shit? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, like a flower. flower. Not a cane. Yeah, it's gotta be this, dude. He, that guy in the middle looks like the detective from Lupin. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Zenigata. Right. I feel I feel like it's the top left man. Let's do it. I otherwise, do it, I'd say the dude on the bench, but he's not. We can't see a bow tie on him. Right. I yeah, we got him. We got it. We found you. Identified, Mister Anderson. Good eye. Oh, don't want to see his face. I <laughs> can't see you. Oh, peekaboo. Holy good day, shit. Sir. <laughs> good good day, sir. Might you be Mister Anderson? The one and only, my friend. And whom do I have the pleasure of to be speaking with? Name is Herschel Layton. My friends and I have come to this fine town in search of the Elysium box. I thought a man of influence such as yourself might be able to offer us some direction. The Elysium box, you say? <laughs> Why would you want to go chasing after a thing like that? So you're familiar with it, then? Familiar? No. But I do believe my dear mother once searched after the very box you speak of. Interesting. Please elaborate. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, well, my birth mother died when I was very young. The mother I speak of is actually my mother-in-law, Sophia. She founded this village way back when. A kinder soul I never met. Sharp, too. I married into her family, but she treated me like her own flesh and blood. Seeing how I never knew my own mother, I suppose it would be fair to call Sophia my real mother. Jesus. Even after my wife passed on, Whoa, Sophia she's... continued to treat me as one of her own. That, this guy's really sad. He's really dumping it all on you. Mother Look, Sophia. Fast forward to the box, kid. Look high and low for that. Excuse me, I'm talking, Professor. Mother <laughs> Sophia right. looked high and low for that box, but she never did find what she was looking for. So she made efforts of her own to search for it. Fascinating. Tell me, where might Sophia be now? She... She's six feet under. I mean, she left <laughs> us last year. In her last days, she spent a lot of time holed up in her room writing. Sadly, I never found out why she was so intent on getting her hands on that box. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Well, my mother may have had knowledge of the subject, but she's gone now. Now you know as much as I do. I regret it's that nothing. I couldn't be of more help to you, sir. Not at all, Mr. Anderson. I've learned a great deal from our conversation. You have my thanks. Oh, one thing before you go, Mr. Layton. Please, take a look around you. These picturesque hills, these happy people, Dropstone has been blessed with so much. Sophia turned this place from nothing into a village full of warmth and camaraderie. Dropstone mustn't ever be allowed to wither and fade like so many other villages. After all, too many sacrifices were made to make this place what it is. Ah, oh, forgive my ramblings. Once I start talking, sometimes I have trouble stopping. Hey, Enjoy fucking your... bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your time in Dropstone and be well. Good day. 
Jesus Christ. I bro. thought I thought Mr. Anderson was going to be like a bad guy or something. Yeah, right? same. Hmm. Well, I guess that's another dead end lead. Oh, I won't say that, Luke. It appears this village is in tricks in tra in extra. <laughs> okay, it professor? appears it appears this village is inextricably linked with the Elysian box. I also find Mr. Anderson's choice of words interesting. What do you suppose you mean by sacrifice? Here it is. Yep. Looks like our mystery only leads to more mysteries. He's just an addict. He just, it's got to keep chasing that dragon, find him the know, mysteries. Right? Yeah, and we'll be back with more of the mystery. I like how the story's coming, uh, it's opening up more. The plot thickens. Came you know? at us hard and fast, I, this one. I, I really felt like we were going to be on that train, like, 75% of the game. But we're, we've been here for a while. Yeah, we have been. And we'll be back shortly after these this break. Goodbye. Shortly after these messages.